Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Spirit Plays More Spiral Knights. So I was thinking like we'd boycott this one, but I don't. Let's go do it. Something I don't want to like do dreams and nightmares, and then dreams and nightmares, and then dreams and nightmares, and then Vanna Duke, and then oh my gosh, dude, we're bored with our lives. So I like spicing it up a little bit. We'll, we'll like probably next time. Dreams and nightmares. We'll hang in here for hang out here for just like one minute. I'll eat my muffin. Um. You should do get some radiance from here. Oh. We got spiral pepper. Hello. Dude. We can help. <laughs> so much stuff in the way. Coffee, go over here. Dude, still loving my giant freaking surfboard of a shield. Oh. They got a hammer. Six K for siege. We only have sixteen K. All right, Spiral Pepper. You may be a champion, but I think we can do this. Between me, my muffin, and um. The power of caffeine. I almost didn't make it today. I had a, my first cup of black coffee. It's usually black in the morning. I had an empty stomach. I was like, oh. God. And I remember the last thing that I ate last night was a... Um, my friends brought over Hint of Lime Doritos and this, like, cheesy chili dip. So I ate that last night, and then I woke up and drank straight coffee. That's our cup of water. So, my, my poor body. <laughs> don't do not do this to yourself. Learn from my example. Don't do this to yourself. Alright, we're going east. Well, let's get the kinks out of our system. Can we, can we switch shoot? You might hear some rat -tat, tat tapping in the microphone. I think it's okay, though. I prefer going east. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, it wasn't. We were not totally destroyed for that decision. We have a shield that we just. What are you doing? <laughs> we have a shield that doesn't break after one thing. All right. Help. Huh. Well, this is the worst. <laughs> if we can make it by like this, this honestly is probably the worst part of the game. If you we if we can make it by here, we'll be fine. I'm tipped. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot twice. We need to get uh, get away from this madness. Okay, we did it. We've made it by. We just get by this part and we're fine. I was very confused for a second. Like, I, seriously, after this part, once Java gets the kinks out of its system, the area gets more open. We'll be fine. Don't die, my man. I will rev you with my non-existent spark if I need to. Just going off a of muscle memory here because Java just refuses to give me the frames I need. And you know, when life gives you lemons, or at least one lemon and you need like 60 for a second. You gotta do your best. Oh, please. We can shoot, the, uh, the, I mean, switch shooting itself is, is sort of like an altering of the mechanic. You're meant to shoot twice. You're meant to. We, we will shoot once, anyway. I think I'll, I think I'll be okay, is what I'm trying to say. My body is not, ooh. This guy just sped run through the whole thing. Oh no, Spiral Pepper, where where have you gone? You're okay. Well, that was that was that was fun. I guess we'll be soloing this mission. That's okay. I do not mind. We get a little little quiet time. I prefer having people with me, but you know, it's 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 five in the morning. We're actually fairly late compared to our usual start time. Dude, I start playing Minimax Tinyverse. It might be up by the time this is up. 
I don't know if I'm even going to do a series on it, but I loved that game when it first came out. I kind of lost track of time, and, you know, life gets away, away from you sometimes. So I wasn't like... They, they had a, a lot of revamps of the game, the new layers, and I'm like, oh. So, but I gave it a shot. It's a, dude, it's a free game. So, I mean, what are you going to do? You, you can give it a... That's, that's basically in my budget right now. It's, it's the, the whole concept of free. You, you guys should just not use shields, or at least, like... I always was wondering about these guys. Like, they, whenever they shield, they stop in place. Like, instead of advancing with their protection in front of them. Like, come on, man. You're gonna do it, dude, right? But anyway, Minimax Tidyverse, it's, uh... If you haven't looked at it, I'd strongly recommend it. Since it is free. You basically play like a kid watching two little tiny villages fight each other. It's the most adorable thing ever. This might take like an hour. And we gotta beat the boss yet, solo? Oh, I don't know. You know what, we're gonna go until we die. <laughs> the second time, I guess. Well, we didn't die the first time, we got pretty close. Hopefully this is not a preview of what's to come. Oh, you got me. Your body blocked me. You got some smart AI, what can I say? All right, Java, thank you for the double shot. You know, if I I should stop thinking in like a negative context when it comes to Java. Java, yeah, I mean it's another word for coffee. So, I mean inadvertently, I'm actually saying no to the thing that keeps my probably mind and body um, functioning on a you know intelligible level. <laughs> Hello there. This uh this soundtrack makes me always think of a uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. There's a scene where this, uh, that's disturbing, I'm not gonna describe it. The whole guy's, uh, philosophy in life is very interesting. Just to put it lightly. <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna make more music here soon. And he's one of the guys that saw the whole Napster and the whole, um, if Napster's for, for your time, I'm sorry. But the whole, like, internet music thing, um, trends, you know, basically it, the whole migration. Oh, my mistake. That guys would appear. The migration between, um, I think it's West, right? I mean, it looks like the should be west. Oh no, it's right there. Let's think of this open area. Will be where I put the little platforms. But I guess not. But anyway, he saw the uh, the whole free music thing, and everybody could get it coming. I think he did anyway. And he started investing himself in like music and or, <laughs> he's a musician. Sorry, M uh, music like soundtracks for like games and uh, movies, stuff like that. Girl with the Dragon ta Tattoo. The Social Network, which, uh, from what I understand, didn't portray the creator of Facebook very well, besides the point. But, you know, he, he put himself into this. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Alchemist, for dealing more damage than I could ever hope to possibly do with my own willpower. There's always another one. By the way, if you're asking how I switch you, I just, uh, spacebar's next weapon. Right mouse is shield, left mouse is, uh, fire. That's, that's basically it. I never advance beyond that because I have a ball mouse. Hence the, like, I'll move it and it'll stop. I'll move it and it'll stop. Movement with the mouse fixture that I have. So it's not really, like, I suppose I could someday, like, I've been doing this for so long, ever since Quake 3 was out, I've been playing with the ball mouse. So it's hard for me to, you know, switch when I'm, it's, it's so ingrained. I can do it. I did it. I, you know, everybody else has a mouse. So if I'm at someone else's house and they have a mouse, kind of forced to use whatever kind of weapon they have available. Whoa. Hey, it's not quite like Smash Brothers to the point where, um, like I need my GameCube controller. Or I can't play any smell. I can, but it, I'm just, I'll be at a heavy deficit. You won't get a good match out of me. Regardless of the Smash game, I need my GameCube controller. Even Smash 64. Give me that GameCube controller any day of the week, buddy. I would love to say welcome back. But, like, I have to sh I'm busy shooting these guys in their shield. Directly in the shield. There we go. 
300 years later. Finally. Give me that damage bonus for this last winning shot of victory. Okay. Oh, could probably use that pill. Can I get it? Yes. What is... Alright, it's just another area. We'll come back for you, buddy. Don't worry, little puppy. I don't want to leave you all alone. It would be cruel. Oh. Forget what that got on, but that's that's how I switch shoot. Relatively minor. Could we do this whole map by double tapping? The Alchemers, yes. I mean, half the time you'll see me doing that. We're we're good up into the last boss. I mean, I could. I'm I'm probably going to exploit it. I don't know yet, though. I'm not a big fan of it. I like games being played in their original intention. The I, I think the intention behind uh, you know, Ghost in the Ghost in the Shell, Ghost in the Machine was not to stand in a corner because that's where you're invincible. I think it was meant to constantly be dodging. Kind of curious as to why the creators did not fix that. But maybe they didn't have time. Yeah, who knows? You know, they maybe have to well, excuse me, call Nick with every decision they make. Just like under the table because it's his baby. But as far as I'm, as far as I can tell, he's been a uh, you know very very distant from Spiral Knights for a long time. One of the greatest th accomplishments. Uh, sorry. Um, compliments he ever paid me was a. Uh, he, he messaged me right before he left. He's like, by the way, I like your gunning style. So I was making PvP videos and combo videos and stuff like that before I even started the commentary for the most part. And I was like, my head, you think it's big now? <laughs> it got enormous. I didn't screen cap it or anything. I have no proof. You get, I can tell you what I believe, and you can just take it from there. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. So I, I, I took that, but now everybody can be a gunner. I got the gunner update like four years later or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> So there's not, I mean, and that was before the Shadow Sun gave additional, like it only gave low per piece. Like I guess, oh, excuse me. I'm, it's kind of like driving while texting with the, the freaking map on the screen, I guess. And back before, I think the charge did like, it does like 20% more damage or 18 or something right now. And uh, regular shots do 15% more damage as is also. Like, there's a lot of stuff that just, like, helped out gunners a lot. So I was hitting, like, 18k damage and stuff before that happened. Uh, sorry, that was my top. But I was hitting, I was hitting, you know, I was hitting, I was doing fairly decent back before the the reign of the Akron. Excuse me. I'll just go. I mean, there's chests over there, but whatever. I think we could use a little freeze. Mike, don't worry, I have not forgotten about you. I forgot they showed up. <laughs> we'll just rush over there and... Oh no. We got shocked in the shock level. Dude, I forgot it ran out so quick. Okay, got this. Just gotta get in there. Get these little putsy things done. The little uh little blooper eye things, honestly, are the it's really holding us back. Alright, over here. Oh my gosh, dude. Huh. I know we're shocked. I'm still doing it anyway. Still moving it. Okay. So with the, uh, I didn't choose Chaos, because I think that would have been an absolute death sentence. I got my regular gunner armor on. I forgot if I showed the loadout or not. I, I don't think I did. But I also have, a uh, Mike Scott giving me the perk. Which I am thankful for of, uh, electricity resistance. Hi. That was, uh, almost hit it. So uh, we actually have a chance once shot. I thought we needed that. Whoop. Oh, come on, boo! We have a chance to uh, survive the shocking onslaught. Onslaught? There we go. <laughs> That's assault and onslaught mixed together. Okay. We're in a favorable position now, I believe. Just gotta keep the rhythm. It's more of a rhythm thing when you're a frame rate. 
this low. And I, lo I know I'm talking to uh, probably a lot of people that suffer from the same uh, ancient PC problems as myself. It's more of a, uh, you have to slow it down. I can't shoot, my potential for, sh for shooting is not as high as other people. Hello, cat. Thankful you're here. Puppies are the first thing to go. Just one last thing to dodge, right? See you there. Yeah, there we go. If I was, if I was a real man, I'd leave the puppies live. Peta all the way, yo. Now, some people are that good, they can just dodge everything. Not myself. I prefer to, uh, you know, the process by elimination method. Don't kill whatever's in front of you. Kill whatever makes your day a lot worse. Are you... Did I get you? What happened there? Sure. I accept this. Dude, 16 minutes on the first floor. We are just jamming. I think I was talking about Minimax Tinyverse for a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll continue on that, but yeah. So you're, you play like two kids watching two armies beat each other. Because this game is fun. The, the, it's not quite World of Warcraft. I'm not talking about the role-playing game. I'm talking about the real-time strategy that used to exist. You, you basically destroy towers. Your guys automatically go and destroy them. But you choose, like, you can pour, like, acid on them, or you can um, light a match, do a spark. Like, you're, you see your hand just, like, going to the battlefield. Pick your hero up and put him down in another spot, which is kind of neat. So, you should be tackling that. I would recommend checking. It's on the free games list. It's like Spiral Knights, Brawlhalla, and uh, Minimax Tinyverse. There, you got your free, like, hack and slash co-op. You have your free RTS. I mean, Dota and League of Legends just make everybody furious with each other. Um, there's no no chat in Minimax Tinyverse. Every match is six minutes. So, like, you can go as long as you want. And it doesn't take up that much time. So that's, that's one of the reasons I like it. Continuing on into the gloom. Dude, I'm also loving this, uh... I mean, I know this shield is not the, the most perfect, but it is nice having one. Oh no, Java, what have you done? Okay, we... good. I was thinking we, uh... You know, you hold left, Java frame spikes. And then suddenly you're like, 40 feet to the left his life, right? Shh, okay. This guy's just drop parts. Please. Okay, we did it. Today is, uh, today is Sunday. I know, uh, on Friday, dude, it was National Pickle Day. So I was a little late for that. Not really. I like the, uh, the sweet pickles. Like the, what are they called? Bread and butter pickles. Why, uh, America's number one addiction, which is not opioids, believe it or not. It's, uh, it's the, it is sugar, fructose corn syrup. Why that's called bread and butter. In the pickle variety, I'm, I mean, I haven't really looked into it. I'm sure it's pretty obvious. Just, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna guess my wife's up. See the little frame spikes. You'd be surprised how much uh, bandwidth Reddit takes up. Mike, thank you. He's a pretty little puppy. You are, Mike. Oh no, what have we done? That is one heck of a breath. We probably should invest in like more rotators. There we go. Go left first, because I was gonna 
more of a uh, satisfaction after going this way. Uh, what do we, we can do number three. Oh my goodness. Brilliant. Please. I tried to hit the pill. I seriously did. I should have just soaked up the uh, electrical shock and waited for that stuff to wear off. It's my fault. So can we do the boss? That's a question. It might take 300 years. Because <laughs> we don't have like a pepper boxer. Blit. Do the blitz work on this guy? I think they do. If you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm. Nobody listen to that voice then. That was, uh, that was from an ancient, like, ancient? I know they remade it to the uh, Dune. It's one of the biggest like sci-fi books of the era. Very long, very long series. And one of my favorite characters in it too. Patrick Stewart actually plays him in the movie. But the um, whoop. you wanna calm down there, buddy, for this? Thank you. do the CQC stuff. I mean, I can cheat. I can cheese you out of it, too. Watch this. Yeah, I don't really like where you're standing there, buddy. That was a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Probably not a good choice, but we've made it. I really just don't want to uh, fight more of these guys on my way back. Oh, please. Anyway, and uh, so Dune, there's uh, there's things for these literally these giant. They're bigger. They're they're like as big as airplanes. Actually, bigger than that. Bigger than like a, it's bigger like a small town. And these things can feel the rhythm of you walking on the ground. So like when you walk, you have to walk with that rhythm. Or you set up this device, which like uh, and they only go after solid rhythms, like little feet going do 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 do. But if it's, I guess there's meteors on the planet, so if you have the uh, stuff outside of the rhythm, then they don't go toward it. So you walk with that rhythm, you don't attract the worm, and the worm will kill you. But you can't, like, once it knows you're there, it knows you, don't, you can't run from it. It just knows where you are. It's just how it is. And uh, that's my favorite character in there the one that Patrick Stewart plays. That guy. He, uh, he's basically, I think he's, he's, the guy's name is Monty, and he, um, whoa, he's supposed to be like the, basically like the force user, excuse me, <laughs> he's supposed to be like the force user, he has great power with the spice, that's it, there's like spice that gives people extra powers, it's a drug you take, it's very neat, you got me. Thankfully, the stuff was not active. The shock is what I'm trying to get at. Oh. So, Mod, the, uh, anyway, Mod Deep is like a prince in this area. And, uh, Patrick Stewart. I forget their name, so I'm sorry about that. Excuse me. Oh, no. This is it. This could be it. Please activate. Thank you, Bill. Please just jump. Or not. Please. Oh, we got the heart. Guess we killed the other guy, too. Dude, the uh, shock just cascades into just a mess. Sorry, time out from the dialogue to actually focus on the game. So, uh, anyway, Patrick Stewart's character, who's a fighter. So, they have this uh, couple things in this realm they have guns, right? They have knives swords um what they do have is like um they wear shields on their body which it, it's it's kind of like a molasses thing i think that uh it stops anything that moves fast oh that was bad so uh if you want to kill somebody you have to like 
Like, they have this shield knife on shield knife combat. You have to slowly put your knife in. It's very disturbing when you think about it. Like, you, the only way you can kill this person is you slowly stab them. But it stops bullets. So that's how they fight. With a knife and the shield around them. Or they, uh... You know, obviously fight with a gun. So Mahdib's trainer, Patrick Stewart, captain of the USS Enterprise, he, uh, Mahdib had to leave, and he stayed behind in this corridor. And there are these, uh, these legendary assassins in the whole realm. Uh, where you at, buddy? these legendary sat and, and like they're renowned and you don't even want to even want to meet one of them so Patrick Stewart's character dies defending this door against all these guys and he kills like 20 or 30 of them with just a knife and his shield you know what I think I'm gonna take a bump on this because it's the last cause I will jump ship if you are willing, but I can leave. I'm okay. Prestige is not important to me. Let me continue on my rants. So this, so he kills like ten or twenty of these guys. So. is what it is we're switching we're switching gears here we go robo rampage we got the switch shooting things I think we can do this so he um he goes like 30 of them and his name becomes renowned throughout the galaxy this dead man's name because he like offed so many of these guys Red was playing risk of ring 2 when just join him hello Should we switch? Yeah, let's get some. I don't know, man. And so when they uh, these assassins meet Maudid, they actually have like extreme reverence for him. Am I supposed to be in like carries? That never happens. Because he uh like his teacher slaughtered so many of their like elite warriors, which they were just not ready for. Elite Bagel, you're like freaking superior one three three seven. I don't know what kind of issue you're having. But he did ask for help, so I mean, that's what we do. We help. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, did he blow that guy up? Thank you. We did it. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yep. Only one loss. We had no pills. I mean, you know, I could probably excuse this. But I just thought, like, that was a really neat thing to me. Like, um, and I can understand that as well. Where someone can become so renowned uh, because of their ability. And because he was his teacher, they actually. And uh, d uh, that was really cool. Like, they could, there are all these elite warriors with swords and, like, laser sabers. And one of the things they had in there also were these, uh, the guns that would shoot. Some of the guns that were, uh, like, professionally. Geared toward assassinating. Uh, please don't just die here, buddy. Give me a heart. They would purposely these drones were like auto autopilot drone things, and they would uh they would 
once they got close to it, a person, they would go slowly into them and then inject them with this stuff that would kill them. And so he fought a whole bunch of these guys, like two or three at a time, so it was a corridor. And they had all this stuff against him, and he still took them out. I love, like, that's why I like uh, books like Forgotten Realms. They have Dred Stewart in, in there. Um, I know, uh... <laughs> I know I might have described this fight scene before, but... Oh my gosh, Radiance! Do we want already? This was a good choice. More... Ra Dude, nine Radiance. Whatever whatever happens, it's a good mission. Sorry, moment of lapse. Here we go. Coffee, help my brain. <laughs> okay. It's all about me and Mike. Friends forever. Bum 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 bum. Blah blah. So anyway, the fight scene. Now that the music's up, I guess my brain started working again or something. The fight scene. That one. The one always gets me the grits. But first off, there's a there's a lot of them that are amazing. But this one in particular. Uh, no, we're, we're playing a fighting game, then I'm going to talk about fight scenes in, within a book. It's a, it's a, I like reading. So I also, I read a lot of non-fiction. I read a lot of uh, theology and philosophy. And a lot of this comes from, uh, you know, you, you can't have any convictions without passion to back them up. So, I mean, my convictions are in reality. And, and um, you know, in reality also comes emotion. I mean, you can't, you can separate them, but, I mean, they're, they're, you can't be one or the other. So I was, I was kind of, I always liked fantasy books when I was younger. I still do. I don't think I'll ever stop. So Dritz came from the Underdark. The Underdark is literally under the dark, right? It's in the Abyss. You need... Like heat vision to see there. So his sister is a dark priestess because they're they're not by nature evil. So there's uh, people. Some people I guess are natural neutral. More radiance, dude. It's freaking. Do we get the radiant hack? Oh my goodness. So and uh, as some races are naturally evil, they have a higher tendency toward that. Anyway, the Dark Priestess is coming up there. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Bagel. And the, um... She comes with two of her soldiers. And the, the females of the species are, um... Stronger than the males. So, I mean, keep that in mind, too. So, she has this, like... I think it's nine-headed snake whip. And the snakes are alive. And they bite you and they numb you with cold. And he also has two, he's fighting two dark priestesses with their weapons and swords and maces and fully armored battalion type. Whoa, don't stand in there except latency. So he, and, uh, so he fights them, he fights all this stuff. And then there's Jarlaxle. And Jarlaxle's sitting in the background. And Jarlaxle's an interesting character because he's... He doesn't, he's not a magician, but he has, like, so much magical gear, 
It's ridiculous. Like, a, a gnome wants to cast a spell on him to see what kind of, uh, see if he had any magic on him. That's not dead. Oh my gosh. And the, and the, and the gnome almost went blind. Thank you. Just, just because of that. So anyway, Charl Axel has this, uh, these bracers. They're not rocket puppies? What is this magic? He has these bracers. It's, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Or, or not. We can thread the needle. Just wanna get some hearts. Thank you very much. These bracers that can, uh, create daggers. So he creates daggers. He's watching Dritz fight. He's just sitting in the background. Dritz knows he's there. Dritz fights with two scimitars, one in each hand. And if you know anything about weapon fighting, Fighting with uh, two weapons, very easy to get yourself bound up, so that just in itself is magic. But, um, you know, they got. Oh. They got, uh. They got hundreds of these, like, these elves live forever. They live hundreds of years. This is probably the worst decision ever made. But we're doing it. I need a dash, thank you. Give me a pill. Give me a pill. Oh, we did it. Get some in the background, right? So he fights these, he's fighting like one with each hand, and then his sister strikes him with a snake whip. This is the longest description of a like 30 second fight you probably ever heard in your life. So he has this uh, snake, he's, he, his, his sister's whipping him while he's trying to fight these, these uh, two dark elf priestesses. And she goes to whip him, and he cuts two of the snake. Like one bites him, so he like loses the use of an arm. So he's only fighting with one sword for a bit. And there's other things that come into play too, that reasons why he can resist the numbing, paralyzing force of it. So he uh, he cuts off, he like slowly cuts off all the heads as she tries to whip him with his snake whip, with his sword. And he's fighting the dude Dark Elf Priestess as well, dan like dancing around. That was beautiful. We almost, that was really close. And then Jarl Axel's watching this, flipping a dagger in his hand. Jarl Axel knew Dritz's father, who was the weapons master of the entire city. Which means, like, you don't mess with this guy. He is by far the best head and shoulders of everybody else. And, uh, Jarl Axel's watching him fight and dance around. He's pretty much in awe. How dare you tame me with your elites? <laughs> anyway, we've got another Eternal. This seems to be a growing theme. He throws a dagger into the mix, and Dritz, like, out of this, like, huge cardiovascular effort in fighting all three of these things, just casually puts the sword behind his head and goes, and he goes, tink, and he bounces off, and Jarlux is like, say what? So he grabs two daggers, he goes, because he can produce daggers, and Dritz just goes, he's fighting these guys, he goes, tink, tink, and then he just starts laughing and throwing daggers like crazy to see how many he can do. And Driss just like dodges them all, ends up killing both Dark Elves, and and uh, puts his sister the sword up to his sister. Who I'll save it for there. You can read it yourself. Um, the the Forgotten Realms Chronicles. Um, but he uh, and Charles Axel just runs away because that's the kind of guy he is. He's all about surviving. But like it was it was really neat. And um, then Driss, that guy, like out like in the Dark Elf City, every warrior is like. Because they train for like 25 or 30 years. Yeah, we'll use this. And um, in just the, the training camp or whatever. And everyone that was with Dritz in the training class, it's like the uh, the Warrior Academy or something like that, said, I, I, I don't really want to fight him. Because they all got beat with him. Even the guy that got second place year after year consistently would say to the, to the priestesses, He's a he's a little smarter than you think he is. Like, I don't I don't really if you fought Dritz, yeah, you probably don't want to. Like he'd be saying stuff like this, and Dritz's first encounter with mages is pretty amazing. What it you know, having to actually deal oh, 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 oh felt so good. I'm a, I'm post boomer actually. Boomers are like in their fifties. 
It's not an insult. I mean, you can call me whatever you want. More radiance, dude! This is the best decision we've ever made in our lives. And my frame rate just went up, I can tell. My frame rate forces are tingly. We just got six more right there. What is going on with this magic? Was there an update I was not aware of? Now we can get radiance in the clockworks. More than like six. That was a good job. Just pop him right into the healing globe. That's exactly what you need to do. Oh, we did it. That freaking teamwork. Now we just need the basic enemies to drop the suckers and we'll be fine. Oh, he said goodbye. Bye, Nindef. Anyway, so he said, oh, jeez. I did it. So he, uh, and the Dritz meets, he meets this guy named Artemis and Trary. And Artemis and Trary is just a human. But he's just as good as Dritz is. Like, this guy is willpower and force of, let's just stand over here for a minute. His force for, I don't know, just being awesome. But he's a he's like a bad guy though. I did not see where your bomb went or your missile went, so therefore that is an invalid target. I'm coming, buddy. I got your back, yo. No fear from the rear. <laughs> and Artemis fights with a dagger and a sword. Because even he's just like, eh, two weapons, I don't have time to He doesn't have time to master that kind of stuff. Like that that requires years of training and mastery. Like, it doesn't make sense in my brain. Right? You just fight with one weapon. The amount of times you'll be, like, caught up off balance from, like, the Bushido aspect of the whole thing. It's just, it's just straight up not worth it. <laughs> that was a, actually a good idea. Just bull rush the guy. And the American in me says, how dare we not get radiance? We already had enough to basically support the run, so I think we're okay. Hey, this never ends. You know what? It's two of us. We can make this happen. Usually if it's like three or four and I don't know them, I, it, it's just never a good idea. Dude, we got more radiance. We just have 28. I should sort of expect it. I did it. <laughs> the magic of Mike. It's the moon shoes, man. Kind of surprised they don't uh, break the blocks. That's okay. Anyway, so Artemis fight, uh, and Artemis hates mages. There's, there's ones, and Artemis is so good, dude. He has like his dagger, and then a mage, a, ma a war mage is sent to kill him, and the war mage start like traps him in this burning house, and Artemis just has a dagger. The war mage. Summons two animated swords, and since since, ugh, since Artemis is uh, fluent with how mages work, he, first he tries to stab the mage, trying to catch him like sort of surprised. But mages are if you, if they draw you into that kind of scene, they probably know what's going on. Seeing the back half of this level is so short, and he, uh, he and then he, so he gets shocked. Basically, he's like numbed. Bounces off. The swords come at him. He's like, okay, I know my mage research. You have to attack the swords directly. So he's waiting for, like, the swords to swing in the air. And he's stabbing the swords, trying to, like, break them. And then the mage, he feels a tingling. And the mage is also... So he's sitting there in a protective sphere with electricity around him. Mentally fighting with two swords and pulling out wands and shooting, like, lightning bolts and stuff at him. And, and Artemis is dodging the stuff while the building is burning. And so, but he's like... He, but he's still, like, you gotta picture yourself in this scene. You're in a small, burning building with two swords flinging at you. Guy in the corner throwing lightning bolts at you. You're like, I'm not giving up. <laughs> like, the whole the whole will there just wanted to succeed against all odds. It's amazing. 27 Radiance. And he's like, I know how the mage shields work, too. They're not based on the strength of impact. It's by the amount of impact. So while he's fighting these two animated swords, dodging lightning bolts, he's also picking up pieces of debris and chairs and throwing them at the mage shield, trying to knock the shield down so he can get in there and get a strike at him. And the mage is sitting there, like, 
after like two or three minutes of this whole thing going on and he's getting frustrated because like every other no one has ever lived this long and done <laughs> he's like this is a un- you know he's mages are on a different level like magic makes it superior but at the same time this guy is just like like why is he taking so long to die to my mental swords you know like a light like basically like a uh, jedi fighting with uh his lightsaber and you have this guy with just like a little piece of metal trying to stab the hilt of it anyway dude that was a long episode thank good we sh we sh thank goodness we shifted gears there right can we can we no not quite anyway once again thanks for watching we have to click like one subscribe if you want to see more in the future and i'll see you next time Bye bye